this is some tea. <laughs> As we all know, the Govan sisters are two of the most beautiful sisters out there. Laura Govan, the beautiful woman on your screen, has a time piece sister named Gloria. And she is glorious. <laughs> she is fine as wine. And you put them together, you get two glasses of fine wine. You might get drunk off the wine of their fornication. Listen to this tea. So your girl Laura spilled the tea of all tea, Jesus. She went on to Hollywood Unlocks radio show with your boy Jason Lee. You know the dude who threw the drink into Hazel E's eyes on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season two. Yeah, that dude. He has a dope radio show with Melissa Ford up there co-hosting. Yes, Melissa Ford, the video vixen, Cougar from Blood, Sweat and Heels, and what else has she been on? Anyway, Melissa Ford, she's been everywhere. Laura was asked by Melissa Ford. In so many words, is it true that you had to hook Gloria up with basketball player Matt Barnes to keep him off of your man, Gilbert Arenas? She said yes. <gasps> Stop playing. So you trying to tell me that your sister was trying to hop up on your man's peen. I know they say Sharon is Karen, but it sounds like this chick done took it to a whole another level. Not a whole another level, but a whole another level and that's all i'm saying jesus now i'm not trying to say the glory is a hoe and hey if they want to share the same man i wouldn't turn them down if i had the chance personally i would smash laura and glory at the same damn time i'm just keeping it 100 percent real with you because to be honest i mean come on now they're bad as hell right jesus i mean damn right you know i could pray about it later the point is this i mean come on now stop playing right she said flat out that she had to hook her sister up with another man so that she can have her man to herself. That sounds like some damn threesomes were going down at some point. <gasps> now, I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm not trying to say that that is what happened. I'm just saying that something is fishy in the dishy. That's all that I'm saying, Jesus. Only thing that I'm saying is this, something doesn't sound right. Somebody has to have some tapes somewhere or something. Because you don't do things like this that are that freaky deaky where you have the type of relationship where you got to hook your sister up with another man to get her uh, to get her mind off of your man unless you're doing things in front of the camera as well you don't just stop there the fetishes and the nastiness don't just stop there there is something else going on there was something in the water in the household they grew up in where that type of liberalism and that type of freeing sexual experience we must have been just normal because that right there is something that in general does not just spring up within you that means that these girls must have been freaks since way back and they must have been like now maybe i shouldn't say that but i'll just say this they may have shared maybe a couple other men in the past i mean we hear stories about it jesus and i'm not even gonna hate it just should have been me it just should have been me and i'm not trying to spread any rumors either the only thing I'm saying is this, Gilbert Arenas was a prick and a punk and an asshole to me five minutes ago. You couldn't tell me that Gilbert Arenas was the man or anything like that. I would have been like, look, fuck Gilbert Arenas. I don't like the way he talks about the mother of his children. And I just think that he's less of a man because he acts like a big ass kid on the Internet. Not like me acting like a big ass kid as a single man on the Internet, joking around and having fun. But... When you're talking about some woman that you have three or four children with, saying the type of silly stuff that he's said on the internet, posting all these ridiculous memes and whatnot, throwing her under the bus, it's like, bro, you know, you should get to a point where you're like, you know what? I may not really care too much for you anymore, but I love the kids enough to stop playing around on the internet. You know, one of us has to be the bigger person and I'm gonna go ahead and let it be me. You know, let's just be, let's just be cool enough to raise these kids separately, not together, let's move on or get back together and stop playing either way i mean we're talking about how she just lost a damn three million dollar lawsuit for defamation and here she is saying this now you trying to get sued by your sister next or how about by matt barnes what did they get pissed off laura is way too loose with the lips no pun intended i'm talking about the lips on her pretty face not the lips between her delicious thighs did y'all see that naked picture she had with the coffee mug on her cooch okay anyways ugh, that image is ingrained in my mind i just thought about that i just thought thinking about that delicious peach i just anyways the point is this though matter of fact i'll find that photo and i'll post it on my blog 
if you don't see it there just remind me in the comment section of this youtube video and i'll be sure to go hurry and go get it so you can see this you're gonna be like whoa her anyways her body is something else it's like a wonderland for real for real like that song says your body's a wonderland or whatever yeah no, hers Ooh. anyways the whole point is this though laura is too pretty to be so petty you know like i always say you know for the women to hashtag you know hashtag stay pretty but apparently somebody did not post the r when they said to hashtag stay pretty because some of these chicks just stay petty i mean i understand that you're in an interview and you want the interview to be interesting you know she's from basketball wise la the next 15 you know she's been on multiple reality tv shows now and she'll probably be on others she'll always have a check i mean she's a very pretty woman and she's outspoken that's fine that's beautiful but some things you just don't need to say out loud oh my gosh like i'm not even gonna repeat some of the stuff that she said in that crazy email that made her uh have to give this man three million dollars because that's coming out of my pocket because i'm paying it for her uh, because I, I just think that she should have that royal treatment but that's a whole nother story that's, that's none of y'all business but anyways point is this though <laughs> so why would you ever divulge that type of information to the world oh yeah i had to hook my sister up with this basketball player to keep her from hopping on cock over here you know up on my man because i'm supposed to be riding it and uh yeah like really laura like did we really need to know all of that info that is too much information she she don't you know you know, took it too far with your own sister now. Oh man, Matt might be mad, Gloria might be mad, and Gilbert might be mad again. This is just too much, Jesus. I'm gonna go pray for everybody, starting with myself and starting with Laura, because I've been traumatized. And Laura, you need prayer, because you're just going too far. Too far. Anyways, just because this is what I think about it, doesn't mean that you agree. Now, the video clip is on my blog, along with the full interview which is like 49 minutes but the little video clip which is under a minute is right there on the blog as well and i'm gonna go get that picture of her naked with the coffee mug on her <clears throat> on her cocky mug or her vagina yeah and you can see her naked thighs and stuff you can damn near see everything but anyways let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more follow me on twitter at meat magazine